Today, I will quickly show you how to start animating on Clip Studio Paint. And by the end of this video, you will have a free template to use in your animation. For those who are not using Clip Studio Paint yet, you can probably get a 1 month free or 3 months free from their website. This is not a sponsored video by the way, but Clip Studio Paint has been my go-to software for creating animations. Let's start with creating a new file. And right now we have the standard 1920 by 1080 resolution. But before we click OK, I like to add some overflow frame with a size of 2500 by 1750. This space allows me to create drawings that are a bit bigger than the standard resolution and have some room for camera movements if the cut requires it. Now we click OK. And I will now drag and drop this animation template that I created for myself. It's actually a simple animation template that most studios use that I modify to show this rule of third lines for composition purposes. Now that we have the template, we need to first rasterize it. And then go to edit and click this convert brightness to opacity. I also adjusted the opacity of this template layer and put it at the very top of my layers and lock it. This way, no matter what command I use, I will not accidentally draw on this layer or move it. Now that we have this all set up, let's create an animation folder by clicking this button right here. I will name this animation folder A and will put it in a folder called Roughs. I will also create my first animation cell here which will be a raster layer and for me it automatically names it as one this is where our rough animations will be done and if you are a beginner and just practicing rough animation to get the hang of it this will be enough but if you want to add some details and actually create animations like this you will want to create another folder called Genga. Within this folder, I will create an animation folder and name it as A. Then we will place our first vector layer cell but this time we will put it in a folder. Now I will rename this vector layer as lines and set the layer color to black. I will then create two more vector layers here which I will name as shadow and highlights and change their layer color to blue and red respectively. After this, I will create a raster layer underneath it called fills where I will place the shadow and highlight fills after the line work. Lastly, I will create a raster layer and name it matte and place it underneath this layer. This matte layer will simply be our character fill. Now, this will be the folder structure in creating our Genga drawings. But I usually create another raster layer here and name it rough if I have to sketch the character first before cleaning it up in the vector layers. So I won't be going through the step-by-step -step process on how I created the cleanup folder structure I have in this template since the rough and gengas will be enough for you to get started. I will, however, create a separate video on how I clean up my drawings and color them and I will come back to this and explain everything. For now, it looks something like this. I also added a folder for the background and layout down the bottom and set all the colors of this folder different from one another. Lastly, I created the camera folder by right clicking right here and new animation layer and select camera folder. We will then put everything in here except the template and now we are done. I will make this file available for you as a free resource when you sign up on my Patreon as a free member. But now I will show you how to actually set it as a template when creating new documents. Once you have this file ready, you can go to edit and click register material and then template. It will open up a window and it will prompt you to name the template. Name it however you like, then set the save location for it. I usually just go to Downloads and Material. Next step is to actually create a search tag for it so it can be easier to find when finding your template. After that, I click OK and now you are set. All you have to do is to create a new file, then make sure the overflow frame is set to 2500 by 1750, then click on Shot Template over here and then click this button to find your save template. 
usually it's always just at the created materials right here. After that, click OK and create your file and now you are set. Just make sure you assign the first cell in your timeline to be able to draw, whether it's roughs or Genga. With this, you won't need to create your own template anymore since the file will be available to you for free when you sign up as a free member on my Patreon. And now you can actually animate to your heart's content. If you want to see how I use this folder structure in my animation work, you can actually watch this video right here where I made a live demo class on how to animate keyframes. Otherwise, you can watch my other videos too if you are interested in learning how to animate. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.